横藤宝书。什么情况？你想个办法甩掉他。有火。中箭！我的目标是你，动不了。看来我不会遭受攻击。则险祸，倒成了千载难逢。宋叔，大劫中，果真如流水。也就这样过，在身上涌动，我感觉到了无穷的力量。那我知道这四星四月，风雨，尚未可知，不大问题了。可对我去了，对你来说，应以。火光真的，我皇都都有一半被夷为废墟了，我感到连火都遭死。该能逃出升天，你也不必的实力在荒域可成顶峰。哎，那火，那灵儿进十国吧？十国发生了什么事？荒天侯，你还是先担心。我得去火国亲自看看。不行，事情要发生。是人正在赶去皇都，好像有不山、宁津门、三教。我感应到补天教，好作为知道。那你可知道？去被上界捉走了。你呀、啊，去了哪里？不知啊，不在皇都。上界到底为什么要捉拿那些下界的生灵？感觉。这。王宫有什么不一样？如今三教大人，我要拜见十皇陛下。不老山，秦明。等新皇召见，要见陛下。正在辅佐新皇登基，我等也可以助你成为新皇。小石，只要你愿意。难道是因为这小子？守护阵法闪烁不断，其他，哼，不会，只需为不老身出一些力而已。对，何出此言？哼，做你们的傀儡的好算吧，为你们攫取好处，真。让我奴役十国万民，干涉，自以为是。那只是你们真以为靠你自己便能对抗大人？小石，凭你也想拦我？娘的份上，我不杀你
不不，道友请留。我要理会那些世俗闲语等等。我若道友何必杀？山，你补天教又来了，断头席。嗯，就是你联合那老太婆，对我坏了。在虚神界，是老家伙，别以为我没认你。虎之剑。还不收手！道友，哼！好戏才刚刚开始，出来吧。哼，小有默契。还有什么招式？三之法。击碎。
，准备好了吗？我这就奈何不了他。可要反击了！道中护体，万法不侵，捆绑宝术。镇元给你，叶罗，神魂俱灭，我定会让他放心好了。靠！父亲。登基吗，天侯？你也要来？荒天侯，请见。荒。不老。十九皇子，上六。宁君门首徒。分手图，秦伦Upload has been delayed because for a few days I was busy with other matters. Welcome back to the Nine Clouds ID channel. Okay, let's just continue with the discussion. This time it's about telling the surprise of the 64th episode of the Perfect World anime series. In the previous episode, Xiao and Yun Zai had started to show their concern for each other. They separated because the great disaster of the desert was about to arrive. The moment she had left a great calamity had begun, tearing apart all venerable practitioners. This catastrophe caused a lot of loss. Venerable practitioners who are hard will vanish into the upper realm. In this episode, she had was still trapped in a great desert disaster. She had was still fighting the desert disaster. Suddenly, a golden-headed dragon caught she had, tucked him in with his tail. But it seemed the divine chain was aiming for the dragon who had become a venerable practitioner. Xiao let go. Then he remembered the words of God Lu. 
When great disasters occur also great opportunities come to do enlightenment. Xiao then meditated and sipped the essence of the venerable practitioner and was hit by the attack of the divine chain. After he finished absorbing it, Xiao felt a surging and boundless power within him. Xiao then takes out the divine storage for Xiao Pai is hiding and says the catastrophe is over. Xiao Pai replied that this matter should be no problem for Xiao, however to him it is still unknown. In four days four nights the desert Loming has suffered a catastrophe. He felt that half of the fire kingdom was crushed to rubble. Then Xiao thought of Linger, since the king of the fire kingdom is very strong, should be able to escape easily. Xiao Pai says, no need to worry too much. But Xiao was worried about it, still going to check it out. But Xiao Ta ah, said it should worry the Xi Kingdom first. Because Xiao Ta sensed the Bushin Hall, Bulao Mountain and Gold Condensation Sect, the three parties rush to the Imperial Capital. And feel bad things will happen. But Emperor Xi is not in the capital, and may be caught by the Upper Realms. The big question is, why does the Upper Realm capture creatures from the Lower Realm? Then Xiao rushed off to the Upper Realms. Long story short, Xiao has arrived at the palace, he felt the aura of a dragon. And also feel a very different situation. When they reached the courtyard, Xiao was intercepted by the troops led by Chen Ming from Mount Bulao. Xiao said he wanted to meet Emperor Xi, but Chen Ming said the three practitioners are helping the new emperor to ascend the throne. And if you want to meet with his majesty must wait for the call of the new emperor. Because the guard formation is always flashing due to Xiao's arrival. Chen Ming says he can help Xi Hao to become the new emperor. But Xi Hao refused because he thought he would be made a puppet and ruled it by Bulao Mountain. And sure enough he put some conditions and just did some work for Bulao Mountain. Enslaved the Xi Kingdom and its people in order to benefit the side of Mount Bulao. However Xi Hao kept walking and wanted to enter, but was blocked by Chen Ming. Xi Hao immediately attacked him and sent him flying. Then Chen Ming, ordered his soldiers to attack Xi Hao. But what can they do is not Xi Hao's opponent. Xi Hao entered the second gate and was blocked by one of the elders of the Bushin Hall, and Xi Hao remembered that in the Void Realm they were the ones who wanted to kill him. The old man took out his fire fighting technique to attack Xi Hao. But Kimi broken easily. Then the old man took out a mountain court technique, a huge heavy ore fell on Xi Hao. But Xi Hao took out a sacred sword and Chen Telnik from the grass stalk belonging to God Lu. Instantly the attack and the old man was annihilated. After the Dao book was struck by a treasure technique and completely shattered. Hey, you know, you know. Just as she wanted to continue to meet the Emperor, he was again blocked. This time it was the people from the Gold Condensation sect that was Lin Fan and Yi Lu O. They advised Xiao to return and not to push himself to meet the Emperor. Xiao said emphatically, no matter where they came from, because the one who tried to stop him will die. There is a fight between them. The attacks of the sect people were not even about Xi Hao. They also issued the Adalan technique, namely the dragon guiding hand. But as usual, failed and failed again. Xi Hao took out a Kun Ping technique, and made one of them die. Before dying he passed his power essence to his partner, his energy power increased greatly. 
That person became stronger than before and made Shi Hao a little serious. But still no match for Shi Hao. He lost and was lost. Then Shi Hao saluted in front of the palace and asked to meet. But what came out was the 19th prince named Shi Chong who wanted to ascend the throne. Then one by one his supporters appeared, the first being the disciple from Mount Balao Chan Lin. The second was named John Wu from the Gold Condensation Sect. The last one was a beautiful girl Shi Hao had met before she was a representative of the Bujin Hall. Then soldiers from the Shi Empire or the Stone Empire surrounded Shi Hao. Continue so that's the story from this episode, don't forget to watch the sequel next week. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss it. Bye and thank you. Bye bye.